Here is the front panel of the VPI. There are two ports. The orange one is for the light guide cable, and the green one is for the camera cable. Here's the power button with the indicator light above it. This button turns on the light source. Use this button to white balance. And this button brings up the VPI menu. The VPI menu can be accessed from either the SpyFi handheld imager or from the VPI. Once the menu is on screen, the arrows below the VPI buttons will illuminate, and these buttons can be used to navigate the menu. Here is the laser on indicator. When you're in fluorescence imaging mode, this light will illuminate blue. Before plugging in the camera cable and the light guide cable, make sure the power indicator light is amber. Amber means the VPI has power, but that it is not turned on. Remove the cap from the camera cable and orient the cable so the raised arrow faces up to properly connect it. Connect the light guide cable by inserting it into the light guide cable port. After ensuring the SpyFi camera cable and light guide cable have been properly plugged in, press the power button on the VPI. The power indicator light will turn green and the system will enter into standby mode. Make sure to plug in the camera cable and the light guide cable before powering on the VPI to avoid an error message. Failure to do so can result in this camera connection failure icon. If this occurs, follow these three steps. Step one, power off the VPI by pressing the power button on the front panel. Step two, disconnect the camera cable from the VPI and reconnect it. Power on the VPI by pressing the power button on the front panel. Step three, if the camera fails a second time or you see that same error message, turn off the VPI and contact Stryker Technical Support or your local sales representative.